Hi. Hello, Barbie Thon Day Tours. Welcome back. Yes, yes, yes. So, what game are we playing today? Today, we are playing my second favorite game of all time Barbie Riding Club for the PC from 1998. Way back mm -hmm. in the ages. Um, I will be doing a 100% Star Rider run, which means I'm doing all of the main storyline missions, and then I'm also doing all of the additional missions um, that result in certificates. Sounds amazing. Akokia says um, this one has childhood nostalgia for them. <laughs> oh, there's there's a particular line. It's gonna it's gonna get you right in the feels. Um, it's it's the, you'll hear it the first time I go down Apple Alley, and it's really. It'll take you to All a place. Right. I'm excited to go there with you. So, oh, well, let's get going. Um, as we know, these runs all have to start from a brand new save file. So, starting up mm -hmm. this uh, this new save file here. And then our time's going to start when we select our horse because we want to give ourselves time to think about the horse's name. Typically in runs, we don't want to rush that. Well, I don't know if you... Do you have a particular method for naming horses, Kay? Do you... I, I picked the same white horse from, uh, for, of course, um, the desktop game and name it Blaze or Flash. Yes. <laughs> Interesting. But... I'm, uh, I'm always Blaze or Flower. Ooh. Um, I think I'm excited to see which one you pick. Let's... Uh... Let's see. I'm trying. I'm having this hard, like, internal struggle with the horses right now. As far as, I think you should pick one you don't play a lot. That's what I was feeling. I thought maybe this one. Okay. Okay. And there are a lot of names in here for just being horses, but I mean, I guess horses are important to people. Yeah. And I'm trying to stick to a particular theme. Mm -hmm. All uh, right. So, count us down. Okay. So. Um, the run begins as soon as you click OK after naming your horse. So we will get started in three, two, one. Yeah. Awesome. So we go to the second mission first, mainly because of RNG. <laughs> I mainly honestly do that because of you, okay? Because <laughs> I noticed that you did it first, and I thought it might help me be just that little bit faster. I mean, that's what speedrunning is, just copying, you know, copying your competition, getting better, learning. <laughs> right. Man, so what's hard about this game? Uh, mostly this. Mostly this thing that I'm doing right now. This is mostly it. Uh, ah, <laughs> succeed, succeeding? Winning? Got him! Alright, nice. next mission. Let's go to Rabbit Run. Oh, I don't think we mentioned it, but at the start of the game, you can skip the tutorial. How did you do that? Uh, I literally just manhandled it a little bit. Um, I just went to the, the map immediately upon when she was trying to teach me how to ride the horse and was like, nah. Not interested Ooh. in what you're doing right now. And she was like, wow. okay. I love that we can boss Barbie around. It really feels like it's our adventure. That's right. I'm, I'm taking over this adventure, Barbie. <laughs> this is L and, Riding um, Club now. Yes, this is most of the game. You're in first person riding on your horse going And it's kind of like a rail shooter. <laughs> you can't really, oh. you can't really choose your path very much. I will say there are these very helpful frame jumps. You're going to see one and just, there it is. And that tells you that you are ready to stop or interact with the environment around you because you can literally see it loading. Yes, because the game has very limited spots. It lets you stop your horse. Now, Kay, you may but have you... noticed this mission actually mm -hmm. starts on Apple Alley. Oh, but we started on Old Bridge Path, L. We did, and Barbie actually points that out later, like an insolent uh, person. Um, but <laughs> actually, if you go down Old Bridge Path, when you have to interact with something that is further down um, Apple Alley than, like, the stream right here, it's actually better to take Old Bridge Path. It saves you about two seconds That's each awesome. time also... you use that shortcut. So. 
Whoa, whoa, whoa. Each time? Each so that's time. like a four-second four time save for this whole run? Or yeah. It's longer, actually, for 100%. Yeah, though. I guess six, six or so. Yeah. Um, also, man said, um, horse hair graphics, 10 out of 10. Which I know. Is very true. Look at it. It's like <laughs> Lucifer's glowing mane. Guiding you to <laughs> debauchery. Um, and good horsemanship. <laughs> of course, of course. I mean, what's the most deranged thing in this game? I don't even know. The B and E when she goes full GTA, and she breaks and enters into some cottage. She doesn't know who lives there. She just steals their <laughs> saddle, and she's like, "This is special. I'll take it." That's the so most true. deranged part of this game. So true. And um, also L, um, we didn't. We saw a horse, but we didn't really get to learn much about the horse. Why did we leave there? It's a mystery horse, you know. I feel like we know through Secret Valley lore. We're in Secret Valley right now. That's where we are. But there is a mm -hmm. mystery horse that lives in these parts, and it's going to become integral. Well, it has become integral to the storyline. Man, that's so true. And it's not a ghost horse. Can you confirm that it is or is not a ghost I horse for us? I cannot one way or another confirm or deny that it is a ghost horse, but I will say it uh, still makes noise. Hmm. That's evidence for both. Oh. <laughs> well, in my book, you know, noise. <laughs> <laughs> Things exist. Oh Another man, this storm is save. the storm is really bad, El. You need to be careful. See, she's upset. <laughs> yeah, oh yeah, because we're doing this shortcut. She yeah. really wants to be on Apple Alley right now, preparing yeah. for this massive storm. <laughs> she's like, what are we doing riding on the cobblestones? We've got stuff to do. <laughs> but you know, we know better. I will say that the uh, the time save to, like, Old Bridge Path to Apple Alley, you don't get that nostalgia thing that I was uh, telling our, our audience about earlier, so. Oh, that's unfortunate. And there you can also skip her, like, tutorial. You just, like, click on the barrels, yes. basically, right? Yes. If you start clicking on the barrels, it just starts the minigame. And I swear that if you, like, click in here... I think it makes it just like a little teensy percentage faster because the apples do fall faster as the game progresses. Oh, that might be a thing. We'd have to like actually test it, you know, because it could oh, just yeah. be like, you know, us wanting it to be faster. <laughs> <laughs> That's also very, very true. Oh, my God. I didn't mess one up. Yes. <laughs> oh, my, oh my God. Yes. Be believers be winning. Believers oh. be winning. <laughs> All right. Apples are easy. Anyways, that's all y'all's money. Someone needs to be president <laughs> of Barbie Land. I mean, because I'm never going to get enough money to become president of Barbie Land with my channel points because I can't do predictions. Like, I can't vote in them. I can only make them. So I can't actually get a ton of money. <laughs> it feels like this run is going crazy fast. <laughs> yes, yeah, so we're not timing it, like, with our thing, but we could see afterwards. I mean, it could be, you know, don't want to say anything, but, you know, you know. Yeah. <laughs> There could yeah. be a particular achievement that someone is going after. Mayhaps, mayhaps. So here is a really interesting area. It's it's sort of easy to go into an unskippable cutscene if we're not careful. But yes. Elle's goaded. It's <laughs> You're gonna don't jinx me. Knock on wood. All right, good deal. Yeah, sometimes if you click incorrectly there, you can actually force your horse to start drinking um, water not like alcohol um <laughs> glad i made that clarification <laughs> and i would say the missions at the end here are like kind of tricky not because they're like difficult but because like it's finicky to click on things in this game it is it really is and we're actually at the last mission of the any percent but we're doing 100 percent right now that is correct 
But later on today, me and Elle are going to have a race. She's been practicing this game at least for an hour, and I have played <laughs> this game three times in, you know, today. So we'll see who wins more times. It'll be best out of three. Okay. Ooh. I have to start here. Mm-hmm. So the flowers on this mission are always in the same spot. You just have to know the route for the most efficient traveling. Which is finicky because it is the only route in the game where I do that. I don't use the map to quick travel. I just continue going down Old Bridge Path because our next stop is along the latter end of Apple Alley. Perfect. So it is the only time in the entire game that I do not, like, you know, quick travel like that initially at the start of a mission. Mm hmm It definitely makes these missions to get Star Rider percent, it's called Star Rider percent, Correct. a little bit more tricky because you have to actually focus on where you're going and remember the route. Even though it is, you know, fairly... <laughs> Fairly wrote, I'll call yes, it. Yes, yes. But to do it efficiently, that's, you have to be a little bit, you know, you have to remember, which if you haven't played the game in a while, it is hard to remember. And I, I love that in this game, they, they, they actually reused assets in a semi-interesting way, because, like, you see the owl and, like, you just interact with things multiple times, which I do enjoy. Um, I have noticed recently that if you continue going down... Uh, what's it called? Rainbow Falls. You'll mm -hmm. actually end up seeing a second Turtle Rock asset, that same digital asset for the Turtle Rock on Turtle Rock Run. It's a smaller one, but you can actually find it at the tail end of Rainbow Falls. I thought that was really interesting. Oh. I have to look at that because, yeah, I can't quite picture what you mean, but like, yeah, that makes sense. So now we're taking a picture of the rainbow. <laughs> yep. Ta -da. Beautiful. Barbie says gay rights. Yes. <laughs> Oops, I accidentally went into the horse's screen. Were you trying to abandon your horse, L? Is that what no. was going on? <laughs> okay, okay. I love my horse. I love my horse. So how long would you say this next segment is, typically? <laughs> this next mission. At least five minutes. At least. But, also, Soul says, let's go. Oh, thank you. But I do think that this is probably the most optimized route that I have found out of a lot of research. Mm -hmm. And so the goal of this is to ride across the entire land. So you start at the beach. And see, we just passed Turtle Rock, the little... The actual oh, rock the, that looks like the actual like a turtle. turtle rock. Okay. Yes. Okay. And we'll see that again at the tail end of Rainbow Falls. Interesting. Okay, and then we stop here and we go to Old Bridge Path. Wait, you don't have to travel through all of Apple Alley, like the front of it. You just have to like see the owl. Basically. Um, you basically have to wait until you see it like load you into the next path. Like, you'll see it. There's a little... Like the frame stutter. Yes, the frame stutter. Yeah. And then I go to Rabbit Run. And then basically it's like cake from here on out because she's going to go straight through to... Oops, you have to still jump. She's going to go <laughs> straight through to Rainbow Falls. And then from Rainbow Falls, we're going to go directly into Apple Alley. And then Apple Alley takes us back to the stable where all we have to do is collect our nature certificate outside and then enter into the stable and we complete the game. That's so interesting. Does it work the same way? Like, could you do the same thing with Rabbit Run, like enter it shortcut sort of second? Or do you have to travel through all of Rabbit Road? You have to go through all of Rabbit Run. So you have to make sure that you don't fork off where it lets you. Um, yeah but it is convenient that it just goes directly into Rainbow Falls. Yes, for sure. And I mean, also, I mean, soul, uh, you know, it, it's an extremely reasonable five minute auto scroller. I mean, as every game should, just five minutes just, where you ride your horse. Yeah, you know. 
I almost consider this kind of like the credits rolling. Uh, what'd you say, Al? Sorry. <laughs> I kind of consider this like the credits rolling. Oh you my know? gosh, true. Because it's the last it? mission that I do, so. Ah, oh, true, true. All right, and we're going to oh, see yeah. that Turtle Rock asset coming up here in a second. If you And also, when does time end exactly when we see the Star Rider certificate, right? Uh, it's when I am back in the stable after I get the last certificate. Okay, okay. So after Apple Alley, it's going to load me back to the out. There's that Turtle Rock. It's going <gasps> to oh load gosh, me yes. out to... Did you see it? Yes, yes, yes. To the outside of the stable. And then once I collect the certificate and go inside to the stable, that's time. So. All right. Just and I love trip. that hill there. Like, you just go straight down. That's my favorite part of the whole game. I like <laughs> um, on Turtle Rock Run where it looks like you're going to smack into the rock. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Yes. There it is. Look at the cow. Iconic. <laughs> oh, so you still do Apple Alley. You just go in from the backside. Correct. You're still doing Apple Alley. It's just, like, later. Because mm. Apple Alley ends up just leading directly to the stable. Yes. The last time I did 100% was like over a year ago. So I, yeah, this is all <laughs> new routing to me. So it's very exciting. It's recent research. So. Yes. Wow. So we're going to load to the front of the stable. We're going to get our certificate and then we'll go inside the stable and we're done. That's time. Woo. GG. Thank you. That was amazing. Thank you. Super fun. Um, I love this game. I've been playing it since I was probably seven or eight, which is still too old to play it, but. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's fine. That's fine. I, I have still enjoyed it all of this time, and I'm still grateful my brother made that suggestion to go on to speedrun.com and get my time recorded and find this great community and be a part of, of Barbie-thon and all of the things surrounding yeah. it. So I'm super glad that you've been a part of this too. And I'm really glad you suggested the Diana Initiative. I'm really glad that we can be supporting them. Yes, today. yes, Diana Initiative. We are halfway to one student's sponsorship and that is absolutely incredible. If we can help even one person materially, then um, yeah. That's that's a great thing. So it'll be totally worth it. Yes. And um, is that about it? Because we're going to be doing more riding club later today. So we could talk even more about this. That, game is, then. <laughs> that is correct. We are going to be doing more riding club later. We'll be doing uh, Kay and I actually, which are the top two world record holders for this game. <laughs> yes, the top two. Let's say it like that. Yes, we are the top two. And we will be racing any percent missions three out of five. Uh, oh, or no, one two out, of, out of three. Two out of three, my bad. I'm thinking about something different. And mm -hmm. um, it's going to be a lot of fun. So make sure you yeah. make your way back. Make sure you keep tuning into Barbie-thon. And, of course, donate what you can to the Diana Initiative. Yes, of course, donate your run money is what we're saying. Yes, no. all <laughs> of it. All of it. Yes, exactly. <laughs> um, I think, Sharif, um, I think we're ready to be off. Um, this this um, 32 people watching me is too much pressure. I can't handle it. I can't. Please take me off live. Get me out of here. <laughs> Please.